Pants Up Friday, Hamish and Andy driving you home live from London. It's early 20 to 8 in the morning here, mm-hmm. Ham. Good morning. Um, <laughs> um, Anyone is somehow listening to us live in London. <laughs> just to your neighbours, just to your lair neighbours. I mean, through the bluestone walls, it absorbs a little bit of the noise, but uh, we do know from several terse looks that uh, the lair yep. is not popular of a Friday morning no. here in London. And hen's not popular for the week. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. That's all right. Uh, we're having a bit of a laugh about this, everyone. Um, Jack uh, was a founder of this because he wanted to go to a theme park called Thorpe Park uh, in London here or just outside. Is Was that- it called Thorpe Park or Thorpe Park? Thorpe. Like Ian Thorpe. Not yeah. named after. <laughs> yeah. Are they All we've got in Australia is the pool. <laughs> yeah. Feel a bit guilty. Thorpe Park, uh, full of roller coasters, etc. Yeah. And um, obviously it's hard to pick a day. What day to go? Well, it's uh, an outside park, and, and anything outside in London will be coated in a fine layer of water. We know as Australians as rain. Yeah. Uh, English people know it as the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, hey, uh, we thought it was a very silly manoeuvre on their part because Thor Park offers a rainy day guarantee. If it Idiots. rains, if it rains, you get your money back, <laughs> which is just crazy. And I would certainly hate to be at the annual board meeting where they have to present the figures. Oh, great. Come in. Uh, it's great to finally get to present our progress to you and the board. Well, since buying the theme park, we've been tremendously excited to see the figures, particularly after you've joined, Thomas, with that superb marketing brain of yours. <laughs> That's so kind. That, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, why don't we start with ticket sales? We've got 347,000 tickets this year, and I'm not trying to brag, but it's a 400% increase on last year. <laughs> Very good, very yes, good, which, which, uh, which gave us a return of? Uh, seven pounds and no pence. I beg your pardon? Seven pounds, seven money pounds. Wh- wh- why? why seven pounds? Um, I don't know. Could have a little bit of something to do with the promotion we ran. Yeah, well, well, what's the promotion? Well, we did the rainy day guarantee. So if it rains, you get your money back, and it's England. Mm-hmm. So if you remember, the seven pounds was probably from that semi dry half day we had in May. Do you remember that? Where it was yeah. a little bit wet in the morning and then it was sunny? Yeah, but the guy also used a voucher from the back of a shopping docket to get half price. <laughs> so he got us there. Well, this is no good at all. How are we going with the cinemas? Good, good, good. Yeah, no, great. We're seeing a lot of people going to the movies. Uh, 488,000 tickets, roughly. With, with the return of? Um, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? People seeing the movies. It, it, it matters, yes. Well, I'm just saying that that's almost half a million tickets, so that's impressive. I think we all deserve what, what a bit of champagne. Thomas, what was the return? I don't really think these things should be measured in money when you think about it. More smiles, I measure them in. Money would be good. Eight pounds, so better than what, the theme park. The, why? Well, I don't know, really. Hard to tell. It might have been because of the rainy day guarantee we did for the cinemas, and we are in England, and it rains. But cinemas so. are inside. You can still see the movie when it rains. Yes, and lots of people did that, and they got their money back. Well, where are we at with the daycare centres? Uh, mm, that's not good. I don't think we should have free entry for children under 12. No, of course not. Or the rainy day guarantee. People are screwing us on that. Remember, it's England. This is Hamish and Andy.